Hello, everyone. A very happy Friday. Uh, I'm Salim Khan, Quick Size Solutions Architect at AWS. Uh, today, I will be showcasing uh, how to use a custom visual content chart type in QuickSight uh, to bring some custom charts to live uh, that I actually have built and hosted on a website. Uh, so in today, I think what we'll cover is quickly go through uh, uh, what the topic contains and in introduction to that. Uh, we will see what the use cases and uh, how some customers are asking to bring their own uh, on custom content uh, to QuickSight and display that and add interactivity to it, right? And then uh, we'll quickly uh, give a demo of a few of the custom visuals that I have built using JavaScript and then uh, a few considerations, especially around security, and then what are the best practices and what is uh, what are the limitations and what you can do uh, with the custom visual content type. And then uh, we will have uh, after the demo is done, uh, we'll have a QA session. Okay. So uh, as if you are familiar with the big slide. Uh, So we have a, con a custom visual content type in QuickSight. And if you have seen the console, we have it right on the bottom uh, as the last visual con cost type, uh, chart type in the console. Okay, I've highlighted this as blue out here. So using this custom visual content type, you can actually embed web pages. You would have online videos, forms, or images. And a lot of people are already using this to, to embed their, their content that they have hosted in this uh, custom visual content type, okay? You can also use navigations to navigate within the custom visual content and then use parameters to control what happens within them so that you can add interactivity uh, along with the other uh, visuals that you have built on uh, quick site and dashboard and along with the custom visual that you have built and hosted on your website. So the, the primary use case of why exactly this was required, a few customers were asking, right? So like how we do Amazon Quick Site embedding on a different website. Similarly, when people have content uh, that they have built or custom visuals that they have built and they want to host it along with uh, the dashboard that they have built, right? So in general, Amazon Quick Site provides a wide variety of chat types that we have, right? But there are cases when a user has developed a custom visual that I'm going to showcase today, right? Uh, using the own programming language, may it be JavaScript, D3, or any of the chatting libraries that you have. And then they would like to embed this along with other visuals in the dashboard uh, in QuickSight so as to add and enhance the user experience, right? So using custom visual content, we can display and interact with this which is custom visualizations posted on the website. OK, so now I'll quickly step into the demo. We'll go to uh, the different uh, chart types that I've created. OK, and then uh, show exactly how it is done. And uh, towards the end and after the q and I'll be posting some material on how you can, some resources that how you can use the different visual types, what are the different steps of doing it, okay, and the best practices all in the community itself. So for this demo, I have hosted my website on S3 okay, uh, and uh, developed the custom charts uh, that you're going to see in actually JavaScript and a few of the charting libraries that I have. Uh, first two charts that you will see uh, are charts that already have interactivity built in it. Okay, we just embed the URL uh, in the custom visual chart type. Okay, So the first one that you're seeing is basically an hierarchy chart that I built using um, the chat library, and it, it basically used to uh, display uh, org hierarchies or data lineage, right? So I also refer to this as the flare, right? So you see, uh, this is the data visualization lineage that we have, okay? And if I click on this flare, my, my trigger hierarchy basically collapses, okay? So the visual, the, uh, the animation itself is basically built into my website and my content, and I can easily uh, navigate to the different hierarchies that are displayed. 
Okay, so if I want to look at the lineage, okay, in a tree way, my customer visualization is very interactive even on which side, right? And I can use this to display a lot of information. Okay, so this particular visualization is a, a, a static embed directly on the quick site dashboard portal. And this can be added with along with other visualizations to enhance the user experience. Okay. The second visualization also has interactivity into build, inbuilt into the visualization itself. Okay. All the data itself right now is, is in basically S3. Okay. And I'm building this sunburst chart, which basically is the world coffee research chart, right? So you can see how the different flavors of coffee okay and what exactly goes into them and how they are fermented and how they're brewed into this uh, sunburst visualization right and if i click on any categories you see how the categories basically are, are instantly reacting to to my all my actions that i do out here right and it's even on the tooltips it's all highly interactive so the visualizations that i have built i've made sure Okay, that the content can be brought over and can be basically leveraged in an iframe to display this interactivity. Okay, so these two first two visuals basically are direct uh, uh, pull in from the embed URL that I have on my website and brought into QuickSight. Okay. The next chart type I actually have is basically uh, a calendar visual that I have built. Okay, so this visualization uh, actually is a daily routine uh, of exactly how I spend my time or the, the different days, right? So as you can see, uh, but the pie chart itself has tooltips in it, right? And we see how many hours I'm spending working. Okay, um, uh, between entertainment and sleeping, right? On different days, right? So this chart actually has interactivity built into it. So I have parameters that I can pass for different months, I'll see once I pass it for February, my customer should gets updated instantly. So the parameters getting passed from QuickSight to my website and then website is rendering me the correct visualization for the correct data. Okay. So I have it for March, for Jan. Okay, and as long as my customer visual content is built, uh, on the website and it is accepting parameters, right? Okay, it will display as it is in an iframe, it will display on quick site also. Okay. So this is a, a single value that I'm passing. So you can pass a single value uh, into your uh, param, uh, custom visualization. Okay, now I will showcase how you can actually pass multiple values also. Okay, so th this uh, visualization basically is, is called the, the, the uh, line race chart that we have, it's GDP per capita of different countries since 1950. So in the x-axis we see we have did right from 1950 onwards to 2014. And we have the GDP of per capita of different countries uh, that we show on the y-axis, okay? And I have a parameter that is actually a multi-select, okay? And you see how when I'm selecting the different parameters, my visualization is instantly reflecting on the content, the parameters are getting passed instantly to my website and the website is basically displaying the correct information. Okay, so this is what I call as the line race chart between uh, the different countries for GDP. And if I hover over my mouse, you'll see that everything, all the tooltips that I put on my uh, visualization are also available on the website, as long as it's able to display that content on the iframe, it will be available on Squid Site too. Okay. Uh, the next chart that I have is basically showing how some data scientists, when they use information, okay, a lot of people can, okay, they have built in the custom visualization, like a 3D visualization, right? So what we have right now out here built is basically a 3D visualization, which has your X, Y, and Z axis. Okay, so this is basically the world economic data that uh, that is uh, available to us. So I've used that to uh, basically see how we can render visualizations on multiple axes, and then 
how we get our interactivity to, to this visualization using QuickSight, right? So see, we have two different axes, the Y axis and the Z axis. I've kept the, the X axis constant, which is the country uh, that is there, okay? And then this animation is already inbuilt into my chart, right? So with this 3D visualization, I can actually, you not know, just on one particular axis, I can see how my data uh, basically is on multiple accesses and how it basically uh, adds more um, uh, information to my visualization. Okay, so if I change my y axis to income, okay, since both are same, it appears black, let me change my z axis to life expectancy and I see how my visualization basically the data itself got filtered and my both my access got changed instantly to reflect the data, the selection that I made. Okay. So you can see from here that how uh, the life expectancy has increased from the 1920s and 30s over a period of time pretty much across all countries. Okay. And we can see how uh, basically the GDP of these countries. Uh, so each of these dots basically um, is a one particular country over a period of time. So it represents a year in, in that visualization. Okay. And uh, all the other data points are available on this visualization, right? Okay. I can rotate this to see how exactly it is appearing on, on different um, axes to get more insight into how my data is. Okay. I can change that to population and see how my population and my life expectancy relate to each other. You see, most of the countries, uh, the life expectancy and the population are, in, 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 so the population is basically static for all, most of these countries. There are a couple of countries. This is uh, China and India. You see how the population has increased over a period of time. If we had just um, the dual axis is straight, it's not particularly visible. It just appears like that, but on, on a three axis, you can actually see how the data is related and how we can how we can add much more to the different facts that we have. Okay, so uh, using our different parameters, right, we can still add a lot of interactivity to uh, the visualization, even change the access. Okay, as long as that uh, visualization is able to accept uh, the request parameters. So this is the demo. I'll quickly show um, how we achieve this in QuickSight. So I will move on to my author dashboard. Okay. So the first step is basically to make sure that your custom visuals that are coded on your website are able to receive those parameters that are that you are required to create interactivity on the visual. Okay. Once we have made sure that our website is able to accept that, okay, then we go ahead and create these parameters. So for, for all my visuals, I use these parameters that I've created, uh, basically the country, uh, the month, the profession, the y-axis and the, the z-axis, okay? So I've created these uh, static parameters that I have, okay? We can point this to data also, okay? As long as the values match what is required on the website, you can create these, okay? And set the defaults. Once you create these parameters, we basically go ahead And create the control and attach the parameter to the control. Okay. So I have built this on uh, my ST and I have a cloud front in front of it. And see how we basically pass the parameter. So this is what my this is the variable that my uh, website and my visual is expecting. And uh, I pass the country parameter for this particular visual. And this country parameter basically is a multi-select. Right, so once I have passed this as comma separated values, my visual content uh, or my chart visualization in my website basically is expecting uh, a comma separated value. So I pass that value in the request, okay, and make sure that my data gets filtered accordingly. Okay. So that's all for the uh, the demo. Let me quickly go over some of the design considerations that we have. Okay, so the key considerations when embedding uh, content 
on, on the custom visual content type, right? Chart type, right? As security missing. So if you have to make sure that the content that you're sharing meets your data security requirements, that's extremely important, right? Because you're embedding that whole content within a quick site. So you have to make sure that whatever you're sharing uh, is is what you're supposed to share on, on quick site and the dashboards. Okay. Uh, the second important thing is you have to choose web content uh, that you have that support opening a viewing in an iframe. Okay. So once you're testing it out, once you build that custom visualization, you make sure that you test it out in an iframe. If everything works in an iframe, it will render properly in QuickSight. Okay. And currently we only have HTTPS URL schemes that are supported for the custom visual content type. Okay. And also uh, for the custom visual content type, uh, the email is is not supported currently. So when you email, you embed some custom visual content type and then you email it out, it's not currently supported. So these are the different key considerations that you have to keep in mind when building uh, uh, the custom charts or embedding custom visual content on the chart type. 